Having a good credit score is important not only to buy a car or a house, but also to get a job or even a date. Yes, ma'am. Financial literacy blogger Lisa Bradley is here to share some steps for improving your credit score and to keep your credit score strong. So first, let's talk about the scale. And we have a photo so you can okay. describe what that <laughs> scale means. Yeah, it's oftentimes people don't realize that their credit history or score is based on a formula and that scale was used to determine your credit, your reliability or dependability to get the loan or support that you're asking mm -hmm. for. Uh, typically, the formula is real easy. It's 35%, uh, I always say, remember, it's your PAL. 35% of your score is based on, you know, the payments that you make. How well is your payment history? The 30% uh, of it is the amount that you owe on your credit. And then 15% of it is the length of your credit history, how long have you had it. Mm -hmm. And then the rest is like the type of credit that you have and any new credit that you open. And that helps determine that score. Usually about that 700 points, mid 700s is where you want to be and above. Mm -hmm. Anybody who has mid 700s <laughs> and higher, you're going to be able to get what you want pretty okay. much. Okay. And to get there, you have to pay your bills. Yes. <laughs> okay. Either way, you've got to pay your bills on time, whether you're rebuilding your credit history or maintaining your credit okay. history. You need to pay those bills on time. So as I said, that is 35% of the calculation of your FICO score. So you want to make sure that you are paying your bills on time and even call them so that they don't report it late because if you make one payment late on time that could end up on your credit report for seven years wow. okay we should also keep the balances low on credit cards yes and what how do you define low about 30 percent of the available credit is where you need to stay that okay. is what's considered low and reasonable because when they look at your credit score they're looking at your capacity how much money is she making as compared to how much is available for her to use oh. so that's an important part of knowing you know they're looking at your character your your uh, capital what are your assets and what are your uh, investments and property that you have so if you can't afford to pay it based on your capacity that you've got something to fall on that you can so all of those things go into determining that credit score oh my gosh and your okay. credit worthiness okay so finally let's talk about how long things affect your credit scores with the delinquencies how long will yes. that affect them late payments again can stay on your credit report for up to seven years oftentimes bankruptcies can stay on for about 10 years mm. and even when you do the inquiries when you are applying for those loans that's why they say don't go to so many places at one time, uh, you know, five car places, because those stay on for two years. Oh, wow. And they're still looking to see how much are you looking for credit. And um, so that does go into your score. So you want to make sure that you're aware of the length of that time, because it tells you when to contact that credit bureau to sometimes request it to be moved off mm -hmm. um, if it's past that seven years. So there's a lot of good tips that can help you maintain yeah. and uh, rebuild good your credit. Good stuff to we know. share a lot of great websites with us, and we'll put on those on our right. website so that you can <laughs> find some resources online right. to help you improve your credit Thank score. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you.